Tantrum X Ensemble has thought out of the box to produce the world premiere of When the Leaves Fall, this fresh new play by teenagers. It doesn't matter if you're raving, cage fighting or modeling, they can't look away. You're like a sexy car crash. So the production happened in 2019, but it all started with a project in 2018 called All For One, led by the Story Factory and Belvoir Street Theatre, where they essentially facilitated four high school groups from Western Sydney to write When The Leaves Fall. The Story Factory is a creative writing centre based in Redfern and Parramatta. We run a whole suite of workshops for high school age students and primary school students. We also run teacher professional development workshops that we roll out to teachers in holiday periods or we come and visit your schools as well. Oh, gee, who's that fabulous chick? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Over the course of two terms, we worked with four high school groups and we started with 80 students in total across the four schools. And those 80 students generated many, many, many ideas that were fed into a script that was written by between six and 10 students at each high school. And we joined all of those pieces of script together to form a coherent whole. And it was incredibly exciting. I found that students just really enjoyed coming along to the project, like they um, just came along every single week so energised and excited to get into the room. They felt so comfortable with the facilitators that were running it um, and it was just um, such a fantastic project to develop their confidence and their collaboration skills. They formed really close bonds with each other and with other schools um, and so that just really helped with their social skills as much as their writing skills as well. And it was also fantastic to see some students who really I did, wouldn't have thought could be able to write um, a, a whole play or be involved in that whole process um, because their writing skills are not great, um, but be able to put those skills into practice and actually show that anyone really in the right environment can help to um, produce a work um, that's really sophisticated and fantastic. This led to the development of a new teacher professional learning module so that we can share this collaborative playwriting model um, with teachers so that they can apply it to their own school contexts. Our goal with the professional development workshops for All For One is to, it's really to share our resources, to share the experience that we had as we went through the process and to give teachers the confidence in a way to take up what is a big, complex, possibly difficult project, but hopefully, grapple with that and give them the skills and the knowledge to go away and do that in their own school. It's really important for teachers and students to get on board with this project. It really changed those students in terms of their interactions with each other um, and it really changed your own teaching practice. So it's something that after the project's done you can take on board the skills um, that it leaves you with, the fantastic worksheets and resources um, and just the process for approaching um, devising new work and coming up with new ideas is just a fantastic process. So it's really something that everyone should get on board with. The other really exciting thing was that the script When the Leaves Fall was offered to this new group of teenagers in Newcastle to produce for the first time and to share with an audience for the first time. It's like rock tunes. I think we're going to be sick. I just want to take the mind off her. Don't you get it? Nothing will take my mind off Mary. And what do you want? I want her back. And for that to be in response to all the amazing stories, perspectives, ideas from those original students from Western Sydney, but to continue that, that heart of making and curiosity and discovery to stage it in their own very unique way. And I think what was most inspiring and um, impressive to me was watching them work as directors and kind of taking a collaborative approach to say, Look at this, look at this space. It's not a traditional theatre. How are we going to do this? My branches have buckled under the weight of knowing about dear Mary. It's time to unburden us both. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I'll meet you in the river. No, stop, no! In Tantrum X in Term 3, we really thought about being directors and how we could use the Tantrum Hall and the studio and all of the items that Tantrum had from previous shows and how we could use that 
in our unique way to create a unique play, realising how many ways there were to do things. When reading the script, it said that there would have to be some Darth Vaders and a Jedi. I liked how we didn't have to just like go out and buy Darth Vader costumes or masks. We actually just used buckets and cut them out to look like Ned Kelly masks. <laughs> they look pretty good. I think the impact of this project on the creative team, including myself, has been finding the kind of joy, the real joy of performance and realising that that can be discovered, that can be created in any situation if you have the passion and if you have these authentic stories to tell.